Hey there, it's Lauren from Rustic Honey, and today I'm going to share with you how I turned this piece of wood I found in the pasture into Valentine's Day decor. <laughs> That's right, welcome back to the farm. I've got some exciting DIYs today for Valentine's Day, and you can come along and decorate with me. So I had been wanting to freshen up the farmhouse for Valentine's Day, and I was inspired recently by this photo I found on Pinterest. I'll be sure to link to the blog below, but I wanted to bring that XOXO vibe into our home for Valentine's Day. So against the wood I found in the pasture here, um, I just brought it in. Of course, I cleaned it up, and the snow helped me out a little bit with that this week, too. I grabbed some twine just to get them to, to tie together really tightly. Of course, I could also have nailed them together, but I thought this was a quick and easy way to get it done, and I kind of liked the look of them being tied. So that was the first project that I tackled with the wood I found on our farm. And then I was inspired to find other variations to do the X's in the kitchen. And so I thought of the rolling pins as a way to make an X. And this is probably my favorite X I ended up with. I also had some vintage whisks that I thought added a nice little baking is love vibe. And so I added those in the kitchen this week as well. First step was to clean off all of the surfaces. I can't tell you how dirty everything is right now. I, everything is ready for a spring clean. I started out here and I ended up not quite here either. I sewed some new curtains for the bottom and then I did a few more DIY projects to add a little more touch. But you'll see in this video how I changed my mind probably a hundred times on how I do my decor. It seemed like it was one of those weeks where I just had to try everything a hundred times until I got it the way I wanted it. So for this little project, I had some red felt left over from the cape project I showed on my blog and on the YouTube channel a couple weeks ago. So it was nice to have some leftover scrap fabric for this little project and it came together really quickly. I just did some, some hearts. I didn't follow a certain pattern and I kind of love the idea of all of them being a different size. You could easily do this in different variations where um, you could string them horizontally instead, or you could do this with paper even. You don't have to have fabric scraps lying around. This is just an easy way with a needle and thread to get them put into a garland. Like I said, I had needed to update the curtains in the kitchen. I had been meaning to do this project since last summer, so I was excited to finally get that done. Thank you for encouraging me here on YouTube. I got that done and I thought it really added the pop of red I was looking for for Valentine's Day, but I think I can make these curtains work all year round and I'm really excited to decorate with them. All right, now that the kitchen is finally the way I want it, it's time to move into the living room. And this is where I have the mantle on our see-through fireplace that I decorate for every occasion, it seems like. This is another place where I feel like I decorated it a hundred different ways until I got it the way I wanted. So I'm gonna show you three different variations in this video of how this came to be. Let me know in the comments below when we get done, which one's your favorite. So although I liked the first variation, I felt like the X's and O's just weren't popping. And so I had this mirror just lying around. Honestly, it wasn't doing any good in our home. And so I decided to put it behind there to really pull out the light from the windows and the white ceiling, just to give it a nice backdrop. And I felt like it gave it more texture and it made it pop a lot more than the neutral on neutral as far as the fireplace and the wood. It just kind of blended in too much for me. So I thought this looked a lot better with the mirror behind it. And this is where I actually ended up. I liked how the neutrals fit the vibe of our living room and the sign we have had since our wedding and I felt like it was a cute motto for our family and it goes with our engagement picture there with a hug around the neck 
bushel in a peck. I just thought it was really cute and fitting. So that's how I ended up with it on the mantle. And as for the dining room, I am just giving it a nice wipe down, which happens multiple times a day with little ones. Um, but I would like to keep it really simple. I just did candles on the table. I love the feeling of a candle at dinner. And I try to have that as much as possible in the winter months. It makes it feel really special. And I just added a few touches in the living room. I love having a few pieces of greenery and the flowers with kind of that nod and hope for spring. Yet there's snow on the ground outside and some Christmas lights that we still have not taken down. <laughs> That's reality, but it's just a cozy day and I love having all of those elements in our home. I hope you feel inspired and motivated to add some love to your home this Valentine's Day. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and meet me over on Instagram to watch a reel on how I've created these little book page roses. We had made a ton for my wedding and I've been making a lot ever since. I love them for many occasions and I'd love to share that with you there. All right, friend, thank you again for stopping by my home today. I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day and we'll see you again soon.